Welcome back to Timber Borners, where we are battling the architects known as Floodwaters, but we are using the power of engineering to turn the literal tide and save our lovely beaver colony. Do, 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 do. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to the Timber Borders. Uh, I think we're on season five, episode six. We've survived six episodes of this. Honestly, when we, after like the first two episodes, I was like, it's gonna be a two or three parter, innit? But no, we're doing well. The power of engineering has saved us so far. Last time we built this dam, which gave us so much more land to play with. Uh, you can see we're storing water in it. We've got barracks and little beavers chilling out in a pub. You're probably too young to be in there, but hey-ho. And of course, down here, we've got lots and lots of carrots. So the food situation is good. And um, by the way, is it is it wrong that like, you know, the do-do-do bit of the intro? I like do a little, a little dance while I'm doing it. Is that sad? That's probably sad. You probably shouldn't admit that to hundreds of thousands of people, Matt. Anyway, where did we get to last time? Good place to start. Look at the resources. So we've got 180 water. So water, we're good. We've got 360 carrots. So really, really good for carrots. Now we've also got 80 spuds saved up. So we need to start cooking them. How many beavers do we have? We've got 18 beavers now. Yeah, so they're all employed. You can see we actually have 17 vacancies. So we sort of need to double how many beavers we have if we want to get there. Hence, we've got the breeding pods going. We've got three breeding pods, uh, which I think should be plenty, if I'm honest. Um, and as the sun set, we're actually... Where is the sun in this game? Is there not a sun? Hang on, let's have a look around. Where's the sun? There's no sun, but it's set. Wherever it is, it's set because it's now dark. And I hate night cycles in games, so we're going to fast forward. Look at all my beavers. <laughs> It's so fast. Anyway, the sun is rising. And as you can see, we've got three days left of the drought. So the water level is actually dropping, which we're not really used to. I think the longer you last in this game, the longer the droughts get. Um, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit pause, hit pause. Because the water level's gone back so much, you can see these two log pumpers. Um, you're not you're not pumping anything, guys. You're literally, you're just sucking up dirt, which we don't want to do. So we're going to pause both of those. We can unpause these two because they're still getting their tips wet. So they've gone over that side. Remember, we've got the two water pumpers up here as well. So Mary H and Alexander McDowell are in there. They are pumping their wood like you would not believe. Um, so that's good. We got a constant supply of water. Uh, next Next up, I think, yeah, yeah, if we head over this way. So this was our brand new district, but it's not a district yet. We planned a load of stuff to get built. So you can see up here, it's going to be like our industrial area powered by water wheels. We're going to be making gears, which we don't actually make yet at all, and more planks. So we're going to need a lot of logs. Hence, over this way, we've got a brand new lumberjack flag. Now we might actually, we might want to build some log storage. You got one log storage. They're berries and chestnuts. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to build build like a big log storage. Oh, I could do I could do a double stacker if I'm honest. So bottom one, store logs. Top one, also store logs. Yeah, then we can build up there. I probably need to store like gears and planks. I'll probably do small ones for that. So small industrial pile, I will shove to like there. Store planks, store gears, sorted. Right, so now we just need to wait for our beavers to build all of that. It's going to take a long time. Because we're in we're in the drought at the moment, like the water's disappeared. Uh, usually there would be water flowing through there, which would keep all this green. Like it would keep your berries growing, keep your dandelions growing. Uh, what I'm thinking, I could actually shove, I know it seems bizarre to do that on this game, but I could shove a dam piece down the bottom or potentially even unlock a floodgate because then I can manually store more water. Now, I think I'll just do I'll just do dam now. Keep it simple. Yeah, so literally shove that there. And then that should store like an amount of water. Like ignore that gap there. That gap doesn't actually exist. It's just visual, I think. But we'll store like that height of water all the time, which should mean this will stay reasonably green. Um, and perhaps I could build like a forester down here so I can keep the trees coming. Yeah, let's get a forester in there. Why not? Why not? And then once that's all built, that will be our new district, which hopefully will be self sufficient sufficient. Although, to be honest, if I really want to go self-sufficient, I'm going to need a food source. Oh, man. Okay, fine. We'll build a farmhouse as well. All right, and then we should be good. That should be everything they need to build, and then I can make that a separate district 
once it's been built by the citizens of Engibreet. <gasps> the drought has ended. Okay, so let's just hit pause before we do anything. And let's see. I'm actually a bit concerned that the game's now completely changed. So in this map, we were battling rising water levels. But this has been a long time. And like, a lot of water has dropped. Like, evaporation has actually been huge. Yeah, and I'm sort of wondering, will that mean like the second half of this season is going to be very, very different to the first? Don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Um, for now, though, main focus is build this area. Oh, look, there's also, yeah, so down this area, we could probably get over to there. All right, I'll tell you what, let's say dig up these because they're just going to be in the way and then do a path straight over there because then we'll be this side and we can build our scavenger flags uh, and start getting some metal finally. And I guess because we have an industrial zone, we can put our smelters up here as well. Decent, things are looking good. All right, since food is fine, I might fire someone from this farmyard because there's not actually, there's not much stuff to do up here not until the water levels raise and we get that ready to grow again so let's reduce one of you guys to shingdon or blue firewolf one of you is fired who will it be blue firewolf was rejected from the farm which means we now have a spare beaver um so i guess yeah i'm gonna shove you in the builder's hut just so we can build all this stuff a bit quicker um you remember last time i paused construction on the mega dam I feel like we've got enough land in here now, should we need it. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong with you, mate? Oh, are you injured? That is Gregor um, that's Greg B, as we like to call him. You can see there, he's injured his foot. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't think we have any, like, medical things. So, let's have a look at building those. In the well-being tab, we have a medical bed, uh, which we need to unlock for 80 science. We've got one and a half thousand science. Fair play. That is down to our scientists in here. I mean, one of them's literally called Scientist Nate. So, perfect job for the perfect Patreon. But yeah, it means we can get a medical bed going. Um, where do we shove this? I guess just in like a random gap. So perhaps in there facing that way is good. Oh yeah, that covers like, that covers everything. Decent. Meanwhile, I have noticed the log situation not great at all. Um, and that's sort of because in order to build this, you might remember I moved my district center just so all of these were in range. Uh, the trouble is it's made this place out of range. No one will go and work there unless that red line joins it. And then if we look over this direction on the island that I inhabited, same thing. We, we don't actually reach over to those. So we're not cutting down any of these trees and we're not even planting new ones um, unless we move people over in another district but then it's hard to like get your resources back and stuff uh, fortunately because we've built those stairs i might be able to move the district center like back over this side and perhaps we can still build most of this um, i guess there's only way to find out and that is to delete engibri district center shove it down there oh no if you look in the top left you can see the the green line that's as far as we can build so we can build some stuff but all that upper level stuff will be out of range if we go there we're a little bit closer but still no good really oh it doesn't work over there though i tell you what though i feel like i could make a shortcut if i built a couple of stairs all right okay we're gonna try that engibri so you can see up here we should be able to build most of those now we won't be able to build those but we can move that later on once you've got the logs and but yeah in order to get this red line to those buildings so we can get chopping wood uh, what i'm thinking is direct routes so our path goes straight down like along this way. That should be a shorter distance. All right, so that's now in. Basically, I had to build two new stair sets, but we now have a direct route as you can see along there. And if we have a look this way, yes, we can cut down trees and we can plant trees. So we have an income of logs now because we're down to just 16 logs after that. So that is good. Nice work, guys. Uh, by the way, another day has passed and the floodwaters still haven't like got up yet. So this is like a really, really different map compared to what we used to on Timberborn. Uh, usually like things are pretty set in stone in terms of like where the water levels are until like you start building dams and stuff. Yourself. But uh this time, I mean it's we gotta be we gotta be very flexible. And by the way, I've just noticed <laughs> over here there's one little birch tree that's grown on his own. It's watered and alive, but look, everything around them, the little stumps, it all just says it died. So I guess we're gonna name this birch Lonesome George after his giant tortoise counterpart. Oh, I feel quite bad for him now. Uh, also, it's nighttime and I've noticed the floodwaters are finally rising. We're losing some corner. So, George, you might be in trouble, mate. The, uh, 
What are you doing? Why are you just sleeping out in the street? Who's that? John Keane? Why are you homeless? John, you should not be homeless. You've got a barrack there. That's not full. Oh, that is full. Uh, okay, what about our other barrack then? This one definitely isn't full, right? Oh, no, that is also full. How many? We've got 22 beavers. Okay, we're good. We are growing. Um, We might need some more housing, though, because poor old John there. Look at him. Look at him. We can't have that. We cannot have that. So shall I build another barrack? Hang on. A barrack holds 10 inhabitants. Costs 40 logs. So that's four logs per person to house them. I could actually unlock the large barrack. 70 logs for 16 inhabitants. Now, according to my calculations, that's a better value for money in terms of logs per beaver. Quick mess. So, yeah, let's unlock that. We're, we're literally rolling in science. So we'll unlock that. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. I didn't realize it would be bigger. Right, we'll shove that there, though. That'll be fine. Um, I'm not going to prioritize that, though. I feel like the, the other things we're building are more important. I really want to get this stuff done. Oh, look. They built the first water wheel. Why isn't that spinning? I thought I thought that would be spinning. Oh, poo. Don't... <laughs> I think there's not enough water created by that, which is probably why this... This natural dam barrier is here. So we might have to demolish that in order to get enough speed. I mean, looking at the water beneath, it does look like that should move. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Fair play to the, the person who made this, Frederico, the map maker. I mean, he really thought about stuff like that. Like, fair play. Decent. If that is the case, I could be giving him credit for nothing. And we don't want that. Oh, also, also... <laughs> <laughs> when I watched the um the video back, like the very first video, let's just press pause. Remember, I was like when this was made, I was talking about the Easter egg, and I was like, oh yeah, that that's definitely a knob. That's definitely the Easter egg. <laughs> Though that was just me spotting one where I shouldn't spot one. Because you know, yeah, as we saw, was it at the bottom of this one? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I can't believe I never saw that. And my editor spotted it. Um, so fair play, brilliant Easter egg. I can't believe I didn't see it. I mean, to be fair, like most angles that you play the game at, you don't see it. Um, let's just ignore the fact that my editor saw it and I didn't. But yeah, respect to the map maker. Massively appreciate this. Loving this season. Um, oh, by the way, moving my district center. We now have this. Is someone working here? Yeah, Alex Nicoletti. Yeah, good work. Good work. So we've got loads of logs. So it's just a case of getting this stuff built, which looks like that's what they're doing. Oh, look, they've they've dug up those. So I can extend that path now. Um, oh, man, the floodwaters are coming in fast. The floodwaters are coming in fast. They're going to have to build those stairs underwater. But that's fine. They are beavers. They're amphibious. Are they amphibious? I don't think they're amphibious. They're just good in water. Um, oh, yes. Look, we have a lumber mill up here. We do need to make sure we can build that behind. I'm pretty sure we can. We can build it from like this corner, surely. But yeah, we're getting there. This is good stuff. Really good stuff. Have I got... I've got two unemployed beavers. Do we... We probably want two more builders then. Let's get building. You guys can go in there. Oh, look, that's flooded as well now. So... Oh, that's probably them. The two unemployed. So we'll do that. And then I, sh I should really move them over to here. Oh, man, it's not good. It's not good. We got beavers sleeping on the street. We need to get the barracks done. We need to get the barracks done. I'm sorry. I'm prioritizing that. I'm not having this. Not this <laughs> not this season. This guy's just sleeping in the carrots. That is young, crazy strict. Just 14. I mean, to be fair, 14, sort of teenage era. You do a lot of sleeping when you're 14. Um, I don't know who that one is. <laughs> Literally on the path in front of everyone's way. Now, that is Duskykin's Masky or Mask Mask. Oh, and by the way, just a quick shout out to Duskykin's Masky. Bloody Patreon won't let me message you, so thank you for your Patreon support. Anyway, with that cleared up, I think let's just fast forward a bit until all these buildings are in. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good up here. We're actually, we are getting there big time. But yeah, assuming nothing major happens, I'll see you in a few days. All right, so it's been a few days. You can see the dry season is approaching once again, which is a good thing, remember? Uh, water levels did increase. We lost everything that we sort of expected to, so that's fine. Um, over here, we've now built pretty much everything yeah i think we have actually built everything you just wang a path on there because yeah they didn't they didn't build the lumberjack flag because there's no path oh it's actually it's out of range anyway uh, but as you can see there beaver sat on arse that is grumber so grumber i need to let's unpause these things so you can build those and i mean to be honest since we look how many logs we got 156 let's get building the mega dam once again let's gain some land so i'm going to go around and just unpause all of these so after a whole lot of unpause
pausing, the Mega Dam should be getting built once again. Decent. Now, you can also see as well, the large barrack is in. And everyone, because it was brand new, I guess, everyone moved into it straight away. I mean, we got space for four beavers. But yeah, everyone's in there loving life. Yeah, and I guess now it's time to turn this into our new district. So in order to do that, we need to disconnect that path. And then we need to build these district gates. So that means we can plock that there and there. Yes, I just said plock. Yeah, meaning we can shove a district center somewhere in here. And I feel like actually, assuming, is it a three by three building? Yeah, it is. Oh, we can actually, we can build that on top of this. So district center, rotate so the path is there. Boosh, look at that. The multi-story and multi-purpose district center. Uh, so what, what are we going to call this place? We need to give it a name. I mean, currently it's district nine, which does kind of work. Yeah, I feel like that's sort of too good to like not use. So now we have all of that. I think I just need to need to migrate some beavers over. Now, I don't want to ruin this side, but at the same time, I've got to get beavers over there. So migrate population. We're going from Engibri to District 9. Oh, you can see the arrow. I love that. That's a decent update. Uh, sort of looks like a huge like arch bridge. Oh, I want to build bridges again. It's been a while since I built a bridge in this game. Anyway, let's send over two kids because they'll grow into adults, which will be useful. And then six adults. So they should go over here. And then I think what we need to do is sort of fix the priorities. Oh, and by the way, look, it's all moving. So they're all creating power. I mean, not a lot of power. 32 HP, 7 HP. So overall, all of these are only creating 117 HP. And what does each building need? 50 for each lumber mill and 120 HP for each gear workshop. Okay, we might have to supplement those with some shaming wheels, perhaps. Um, anyway, beavers have come over here. Why Why have you just come over to sleep, like, on the floor? I need to give you guys jobs. Right, pause. Job priorities. Let's not worry about gears for now. We'll just work on the basics. So no planks either. I guess building sort of middle. There's not a lot to build, but it's better than making planks because we don't have any wood at the moment. Uh, farming, pretty essential. Let's prioritize carrots. Also, water pumping and then tree chopping as well. But yeah, I think that's job priorities done. So we should sort of start growing over this side. That's good. Now, what it might be worth these guys doing as well, maybe some spadder dock, because they got quite a lot of like underwater stuff. Let me just go to plant crops and go to spadder dock. I'm not sure like how deep it can go. Like, can it grow underwater? Or does it have to be like shallow? Not entirely sure. But yeah, I would sort of do like all of that in spadder dock, but I'm worried with the ever increasing droughts, that could be a mistake and they'll all just die. It's like these guys, they still haven't built their aquatic farmhouse. It costs like 30 logs and 10 planks. That's pretty pricey. Hey, oh no, no, what's happened over here? We've got an injury. We've got a tooth injury. And who is this injured beaver? Do we need... Oh man, architects suck these nuts. We really need to look after this guy. He's an inspiration for all young beavers around. Um, Let's head into well-being. Isn't there like a tooth grindstone? Yeah, there is. So five logs and it fixes broken teeth. Yeah, all right. We'll shove one of these in and we'll keep it near this area because this is the logging area. So it makes sense to have that there. Let's say high prioritize that. And as the sun rises, the drought has started. But the good news is the grindstone is in. So where's that injured beaver? There you are. All right, let's come. Ow. Oh. Oh, I don't like watching that. I don't like watching that. Look at the sparks coming out. Oh, the sound is piercing. <laughs> anyway, that's that's how you fix teeth, apparently. You grind them down even further. Perhaps I want to do that over, over this way as well for these guys. So I'm sort of just prepping. We'll shove a teeth grindstone there. I should probably do a medical bed for these as well, because this is a different district. Shove that right on the end there. Because look, it's basically like a little hammock. So as a beaver like lays in there feeling ill, they actually get like a really really nice view. Like, they get to look out on all of that. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. It's not actually beautiful. It looks... <laughs> It's very brown. Um, anyway, it looks like these guys, they're getting on well with the old the old mega dam. So we might be gaining a lot more land soon, which is very nice. Um, one other thing I've noticed, we're down on carrots. We're only down to 21. So I'm going to shove someone else in there. John O'Purdy, join Seg Jiwe. Uh, let's get some carrots on the go. Right, and things are looking good. It's a seven day long drought. So the water level will go lower than ever. Um, hence, I really need these farmers to prioritize 
harvesting, to be honest, because as we know, this middle bit it will dry out. Not ideal. We don't want to lose any of those crops that we've grown. Actually, I might say as well, don't prioritize carrot. Just like, just do everything because we want the potatoes as well. I mean, we want potatoes more than anything because they're in the middle. Although still, we don't have enough beavers to actually cook them yet. Um, but we've got a nice stockpile. We've got 89 potatoes. Uh, where are they stored, actually? Ah, oh, they're in there. So is our... Oh, I think our spod storage might be full. All right, we'll build another one then. We'll build another one. See if I care. Uh, then hopefully later on, we can change that from like storing normal potatoes to storing the grilled potatoes. Because again, we need to store those separately. You can't contaminate your food with uncooked and cooked. I know about food hygiene. Uh, one final thing I need to do over in District 9. We need to get some, some new births happening. So let's get yeah, probably two breeding pods on this side. Um, I've upped the priority of this gatherer flag, so they should collect some berries themselves. Because um, currently they've got they got no food on this side. They've got water, but no food. So until the carrots grow, we're doing berries. I think actually all the carrots are planted. Yeah. So let's pause the farmhouse. And then we've got two more workers to do other stuff. Oh, I feel so bad. I should have built housing for them. Like, look at this little child beaver. Baby Rubberura land. Uh, just sleeping rough on the street at five years old. I mean, District 9, it's, it's a rough place. Now, the other thing I've noticed, the dam is now in. Unfortunately, there's no... There's no water coming down, but you will notice this would have drained. So the fact that we have like a, a green inner circle, this would have like been brown and died out. Um, only only a positive, so decent. Um, ah, oh, the other thing I should do as well. Let's get the in the metal tab. Let's unlock the scavenger flag for 250 science. Yes, please. And we'll get one of those in, so we can we can start getting some metal and move on with our lives. Because once we have the smelter, we can unlock all sorts. And as we know, to build suspension bridges, we need steel. So we are going to be working on that next time. And we've had a bit of change of heart. I was actually going to try and like deflect the water from all of these, wasn't I? I feel like that's not sensible now. These droughts are so long. We're sort of going back from like this new water world sort of gameplay. We're going back to like the original Timberborners gameplay. It's spinning my brain out, if I'm honest. It's a lot to think about. But uh, overall, pretty happy with how this is going. Let me know in the comments what you think. And for now, I'll say peace, love, and apparently water is our friend again. Bye, guys!